Good afternoon YouTube. Let's talk about feeding our bees today. Uh, the first type of feeder that we're looking at here is a, a, a frame feeder. One that goes down inside of the hive obviously and you can fill it up and the bees can then work it uh, from the inside there. Uh, this is the improved version that has the ladders and I like this a lot better than the one I got with my starter kit 10 years ago that had no ladders and was more a suicide feeder than anything else. Uh, we'll move on to next looking at some mason jar feeders. Be back in just a second. Here you can see me using uh, some mason jars uh, to feed this hive. I've got them up on a little piece of uh, leftover plywood and uh, that gets them up off the frames just a little bit and then I've got this uh, five frame super box used to uh, you know, make it kind of a hive top feeder sort of thing, but it's right over, uh, right over their heads, easy to get to. So I really like this for nukes and and things like that. It seems to work a little better uh, than my hive top feeder for nukes, which we'll see next. Uh, here we have a five frame uh, feeder that I built to go on the D coats uh, five frame nuke boxes, and it works okay uh, when the bees find it and utilize it, uh, especially in the late summer, early fall, they can suck down quite a bit of feed out of these um, fairly quickly. I found for spring feeding, they tend to be a bit lazy and not want to come up here and necessarily utilize this as well as they do the mason far jar feeders, which are directly over their head. Um, I built this, like I said, it's, it's a design that, you know, has been around, um, you know, it's just using some number eight hardware cloth and blocking off a section there. And the dimensions are to fit, like I said, the decoats uh, design. Uh, so now we're gonna go look at the Man Lake um, hive top feeder and we'll take a look at that. Okay, welcome back. Here we have the Man Lake plastic insert hive top feeder. And this one I like again for uh, late summer, early fall feeding. They can tend to ignore it, but you can see it looks like they're they're using this um, now, so they're probably getting a little bit of use out of that. Um, you can put a whole heck of a lot of, of uh, sugar water in here and not have to be in here every day, and as you can see, they're not flying up in my face, kind of like the design for the, the five frame nuke over there. I don't have to worry about dealing with bees. Um, I also, if you'll see, I put some silicone caulking all the way around and that completely eliminates, uh, for the most part, unless they get in from the top, uh, any drowning issues. Um, I'll show you on another one of these where I need to redo the caulking and you can see what happens. Uh, be there in a second, hang on. Okay, here we have probably the first man-like hive top feeder that, I've ever, that I ever received. And you can see that the caulking has worn out and I need to redo it. And so with that, or if you don't caulk, you can get this, uh, where the bees can get in there and then drown, which doesn't do you a whole lot of good. Uh, but on a whole, I do like this design. It works best, I think, for that feeding during the dearth when they don't have much of a choice. I think for springtime feeding, I do like the mason jar or whatever jar you've got with a hole in the, in the lid, a couple holes in the lid, flipped upside down. Uh, right over their heads where that drips just right there and they kind of almost have to take it. Uh, I see that's being a little more effective in times like this. Uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a like. And if you have questions, go ahead and post them below and I'll get them answered as soon as I can. Have a good day.